<laughs> what can it be? I like the name of it, at least. If you like. I got a little bit paranoid. I would be in trouble. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, no. <laughs> but David, I have to remind you, it's quick and dirty. <laughs> Just do a little bit quicker. We have something prepared for you. It's a game called Quick and Dirty. And uh, we get some questions from <laughs> our viewers. <laughs> <You> like that? <laughs> what can it be? I like the name of it, at least. <laughs> Wasn't my idea. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play Quick and Dirty with David Geller now. And our viewers and subscribers and followers prepared some questions. And also weird ones. Yeah, and you have to answer them like as quickly as possible. Say the first and dirty thing. Too? Mm, if, if you, you like. <laughs> Like the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, yes. I'm just gonna start. If you hadn't become a DJ, what would be your job today? I would be in a lot of trouble. Because really, this is all I know how to do. Uh, imagine I've been a DJ since I was 14. I started when I was 12. Uh, in my bedroom, you know, professionally when I was 17. I would be in trouble. I mean, uh, hopefully I wouldn't be unemployed because I'm a hard worker, but I like real estate. Maybe I would work in real estate. Next one. Have you ever been drunk on stage? Okay, so there's this, you know, it's funny because people, you should know that I, I don't drink or do drugs. Um, I drink maybe twice a year for a party, you know? And it's so funny because so many times people uh, comment on my Instagram and they're like, oh my God, can you see like, this is so high on this, on that. They tell me names of drugs. I don't even know the name, mm -hmm. you know? And, and the craziest part was, um, <laughs> I had a ridic ridiculous moment, you know. I was very, very, very tired at that time. Um, and uh, I did a Tomorrowland show. And, uh, and during the show, there's a moment that I'm like, and you can see that I'm completely lost in my thoughts. <laughs> it was like the most watched YouTube video really? for like a year. <laughs> Because everyone was like, ha, 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 David Gela is so high, this is so funny. But sometimes I live a little bit in a different planet. I have to say, but really, huh? <laughs> sometimes I feel like my mind really goes somewhere else, you know? And I think a lot of artists are like me. Uh, so this is why we are creative people, you know, because we are a little bit dreamers. I think it's a kind of cliche. But David, I have to remind you, it's quick and dirty. <laughs> just do a little bit quicker. Sorry. But he just revealed the biggest <laughs> mystery of the most viewed YouTube yes. video. <laughs> what was your most unnecessary investment ever? Um, unnecessary investment? I'm sorry, I'm really good at investing. I, uh, I, I, Did you I, buy something expensive that was absolutely not worth it? No, I'm good like So that. you're overthinking like everything. That's good. That's, yeah. a good. that's a good thing. So what item did you panic buy during the pandemic? Most of the people like toilet paper or something? <laughs> oh yeah. You too? Everything. Everything. <laughs> everything, really? Everything. So you had a big toilet storage? Toilet paper. Uh, um, the thing to clean your hands, yes. uh, uh, food to stay for two months. Well, I have to specif specify, I was in, in America. And you know, America can go really crazy yes. sometimes. So I was like, I don't know what can happen, you know. And I was not the only one, trust me, because when I went to the supermarket, oh my God, it was like, you know, like a crazy, like people was a fight. fighting and telling you. It was crazy. So, yeah, I bought everything. I got a little bit paranoid. <laughs> Have you ever used your celebrity status for advantage? 
Actually, I hate doing this. So, you know, when I book a restaurant, I never do it under my name. I never, I never do this. I never ask for a discount, uh, you know, like, a, even like to get free clothes, which is very common in, for celebrities. I don't do this, I go sh shop, pay normally. Uh, I don't know, I feel ashamed. Good, and, yeah. and you know, sometimes uh, it happens to me that um, some people want to give me stuff for free because it's me and I feel like this is not right. Mm -hmm. So I always ins insist on paying because, you know, like if I have more money than you, why are you gonna give it to me for free when this is what you do for business? I have to ask, what's your secret name when you book a restaurant <laughs> table? <laughs> what's your name you use? Oh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay, next one. If you could read someone's mind, who would you choose? Ah. Uh, my girlfriend, I guess, because sometimes I really feel like she's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what yes. our boyfriend... But you know, I'm too. telling you, I think it's not her. It's just women. <laughs> it's really crazy sorry for that. <laughs> how men and women are different, you know, and this is my experience. It's, it's, it's like sometimes it's okay not to understand because we don't speak the same language, you know, and we need each other, we love each other, but sometimes it's just a different language. And I think women probably feel the same about men. Sometimes they That's don't true. understand, yeah. That's right? True. We always call each other when we yeah. don't understand our... What did he mean? <laughs> yes. So last question. Yeah, what would your family say is the most annoying characteristic of you? Okay, everybody complains that I'm never there. But that's my family, my friends, my girlfriend, my mom, my dad, my kids, uh, my business partners, uh, yeah. But it's, it's really hard, you know? It's just the way I live, I can't give enough time to all the people I love, and it's, it's a problem. But maybe it's changing now because of the pandemic. Yes, absolutely. You got a routine. Oh, no, nah, So hopefully you get other Nah, my girlfriend is tired of me. She's like, okay. <laughs> Go I'm going, away now. I'm going I'm back to America. <laughs> I had too much of you. <laughs> so we're really happy that we had you here yes. today. So thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We had so much yeah. fun. I hope you had some fun too with the quick and dirty questions. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I was all. I'm, I'm really long every time. No, it's okay. Right. It's okay. So, liebe Leute, das war äh, David Getter. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr heute wieder mit dabei wart. Und ja, nächste Woche mit einer neuen Folge. Genau. Thank you, David. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you, guys. Bye.